I'm Brittany, this is John, and welcome to Gay Watch, where we watch gay things. Today is the third episode of Hannibal, as we go further and further down this rabbit hole of cannibalism. I've got bad wine and a reasonably strong stomach, so we're going to hit play. Oh, great, a flashback. Oh, we get to find out what exactly her role was. No, great, I was ready for this, this is fine. Oh, I mean, that would be me if I shot a fucking deer, but if she's that way about deer, she's not, she's not going to handle any of this well. I don't know why that's making me more nauseous than anything else. Oh, maybe that's why. Oh, she awake now. Dogs! Oh my god, dogs and those boxers or boxer briefs? Kind of seeing her point, honestly. To put it fucking mildly. I think it's a possibility that needs to be ruled out. If Abigail didn't help her father, maybe she knows who did. God, I hate understanding everybody's fucking point of view. I want my grandma to talk to you. Sure. You are not my grand psychiatrist, Dr. Gates. Dr. Young Gates. Garrett J. Pops, the uh, Minnesota strike, abducted and murdered the better man. He is an intelligent psychopath. He is a sadist. He will never kill like this again. So how do we catch him? How do we catch him? Hmm. Oh, Hannibal's going to take that compliment. The fucking... Do you see that smile? The fucking way he already looks at Will. Like, honestly. Oh, boy. Hannibal sees so many things in Will. Oh, Jesus, Freddy, what the fuck are you doing here? Great! Throw her out the fucking window. Bitch! Oh, I just realized this is the first time we get murder family. Yeah, yeah. Hannibal's just craning in a little bit. Oh, bullshit. Oh, I mean, I knew he was probably a brother, but not the brother of Stag Girl. Oh, her lack of sobbing is really interesting to me. Did 
once again, Hannibal Cranes! Oh shit, that's right! Oh shit, that's right! All she's gotta do is recognize his fucking voice! Hence why he hasn't fucking said anything! Oh, really? How many fanfics? How many Hanagram fanfics are called that? Ooh. Ooh. I don't think she'd be here if she thought you did. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Get her out of there? Yeah, yeah, like, remove her from the situation. Come home. Can you stop being such a bitch? I don't know, I kind of stand Marissa at this point. Nightmare Stag! Oh. Probably. <laughs> he would know. I don't want to 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 know. What would be fresh up there? No, it's not Marissa. It's not Marissa. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. Hasn't Abigail been through a fucking nuff? That's true. It could have been the brother, but it was probably Hannibal. Oh my god, the irony of getting caught by the person who actually killed your daughter? Jesus. Fucking hell. Oh my god, there's so much dramatic irony. I mean, we know that. But Abigail sure as shit doesn't. Abigail? Now he's got a manipulator and a... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But if you do what I say... Uh huh. Oh my God. I pray for your selection here in my life. You have a choice. Oh. Congratulations. Yeah. Complete the metaphor of descending into hell. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'll keep your secret. If you keep mine. Yeah. Uh huh. I mean, girl, same. I don't. I don't. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's the slow burn complexity that really fucking gets me. Like, it keeps descending. And it keeps turning. And sometimes it turns, you know, a bit faster than other times. But we just keep going down. And down. And further fucking down. But never too fast. But never too slow either. Oh god, the pacing. The pacing has fucking killed me. Like, the way they pulled off this fucking show is incredible and i love how even though will and hannibal as a pairing weren't 
the focus of the episode. I love that we still got those couple of moments of Hannibal keeping an eye on Will and the things that Will claims when he's asked questions versus kind of what we're thinking is maybe the actual, you know, uh, truth. And so it was so great to see Hannibal keep an eye on Will, but at the same time be able to focus on Abigail and partially orchestrate, partially get lucky with that whole situation and the way he improvises, he's just a fucking genius. There's really no wonder why he hasn't gotten caught. Because, well, it's not necessarily that he gets lucky. It's more like he is able to turn events in his favor to the point where he can almost orchestrate his own luck. Like, it is otherworldly and absolutely terrifying. Like, that makes him a formidable fucking opponent. And watching him move all the chess pieces on the board while still allowing for unexpected moments and working around those is just it's so much fun it's so much fun this series is so much fucking fun that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching i will be back on wednesday with episode four and please remember to take care of yourself <laughs>